what's good guys it's your facts hope you guys are well hope you guys are having an amazing start to the new week welcome back to my channel i feel like i haven't done that in a hot minute because normally i just be posted up my interviews on my channel and then i go about my business it's been a while since i've done a talking video when it's like one-on-one -on -one. i feel like i don't do those kind of videos as much anymore because my channel now is mainly focused on presenter based content as you guys know i'm a presenter now i'm a radio presenter at new star radio um and also i do online presenting you know doing up interviews tiktok you guys know the the rundown okay but yeah it's been a while and we need to catch up i need to give you guys a bit of a life update you know there's been a lot going on where do we even begin? Where do we even start? So, oh yeah, uh, by the way, the lighting of this video, I'm currently using my ring light. Like, my box light broke about, I think, this time last year. I feel like the, yeah, no, yeah, no. It literally broke after my interview that I did with um, Temi and Tang from Blue Therapy. It literally broke, like, literally, like, right after that interview. Like, the bulb literally, like, like it literally broke on the floor and i can't use it so now i have, have no choice but to use this ring light which works which was been working for my interviews so that's all that matters can you guys believe that i'm about to turn 29 next month 29 i don't even look 29 because some of these teenagers some of these girls that are in their early 20s look about 35 40 okay and i look good for my age I look real good. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe it. Like I was just having a bit of a reflection on just like my 20s from when the moment I turned 20 till I turned 29. Well, I haven't turned 29 yet, but from the moment I turned 20 till now. And I just feel like, damn, like I've been through a lot. I've done a lot. I've experienced a lot. Um... It's been a roller coaster. It's been an amazing journey, but it's definitely been a roller coaster. Like, I started my journey of my 20s, like, in uni, about to graduate, a lot of transitions going on, getting my own place at 21, getting a job, my first job, um, and jobs. And on top of that, you know, having transitions with the circle that I had at the time, you know, friendship breakups and it taught me so much about myself like the person I was back then is completely different to now like mate I have zero tolerance zero patience for bs so I feel like I've definitely evolved I feel like a lot of experiences a lot of things that I went through meeting different walk meeting different people from different walks of life has really toughened me up like it's really like shaped me who I am today like for real for real like and just in general, like, you know, I'm about to turn 29. I never thought in a million years, like, I never imagined my life to be where it is right now. I really thought that by now I would have been married, kids, like, you know, had, like, mini fats running around, like, um, and don't get me wrong, I definitely want to be married. I definitely want kids. Um... Do I feel like I should have had it when I was younger? No, because I feel like I would have not been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished. Even though I am not where I am, I'm I'm not where I want to be. Um, but I've accomplished a whole lot and I don't think I would have been able to do it if I had kids. Like, I'm just going to keep it all the way real. And this is not no shade to anyone. You know, if you have an amazing support system, you know, it takes a village to have kids. You know, it takes a village to look, like, to have kids, to look after kids. Like, it's not, easy like i work with kids and you know at the time when i used to work permanent i used to speak to a lot of parents like and boy like it is a struggle okay it's not easy being a parent and i just feel like would i have accomplished all the things that i've accomplished today probably not like i feel like in my mindset i thought to myself do you know what i'm not ready let me use all my energy and time that i have right now as i'm young to put all my energy into my goals and dreams and i'm so glad that i did that however however i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie um i don't know what it is but something hit me um 
last month like you know when you've been through so much and you you know you've meet people at this point in my life like I'm turning 29 like come on like as much as I love my own company and I enjoy my own company when you live on your own for a very long time you literally just enjoy your company a bit too much but I feel like right now where I'm at my life you know I'm a July baby I love love like I'm ready for love I'm ready to find my husband I'm ready to have my person like i'm ready i'm ready to meet my person i'm ready i i, I want to say i'm ready to get married in this instant in this second but yeah i'm ready for love i am i am <sighs> it's scary though because you know when you've been so guarded up and it's all it's always been about you 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 it's always been about me 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 and then opening up to someone and just being vulnerable is very scary and especially like you know the dating scene right now is just shambolic it's in shambles you know i do believe that there's some great men out there there's some good men out there however you know men are manipulative as well like men lie so i don't want to tell myself that but i do believe that there's some good men out there and i have some requirements i have a list that i want from a man and I'm not backing down. Like, that is my list. I don't think my standards are too high. I feel like they're very reasonable. Um, and I feel like I'm ready to meet my person. And also, my mum has been pressuring me about the biological clock and all that. And it's true. Like, come on now. Like, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, I want, I want my person. Like, I'm even getting shivers. I'm getting goosebumps. Like, I want, like, I've been literally, like, just... I don't know. I've just been like imagining just being with someone. <laughs> Can you believe it? Me. Oh, please. I used to be like, uh uh, anybody got time for that? It's all about me, 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 me. And it's still about me, 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 me at the end of the day. But I'm ready. I'm, I think I'm definitely ready for my person. Um, but yeah, a bit of a tangent. But yeah, going back to turning 29 and everything like that, obviously you guys know I've been on radio for two and a half years now. So I started uh, radio when I was 26, um, back in 2022 in February. I was overshadowing for seven months, got my own show in September of 2022. Um, and I've literally just like been grinding, like you know when it comes to if you watch my interviews you guys know i've been literally doing it like literally killing it um and as much as i love radio and before you guys start i know the title says i'm quitting radio question mark i'm not quitting radio i'm not quitting radio um i feel like i've learned so much being at the radio station that i was like when i first started radio i had no idea I'd never studied radio or journalism. I thought you needed a degree, but you didn't. And I honestly feel like if I knew that soon, I would have started a bit sooner, to be honest. But yeah, like I had no idea what to do. I was very nervous. I remember I was so nervous going live. My first day going live presenting. Oh my God, if you listen to my first radio demo, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. But now I just feel like you know, I feel like I'm so confident now. I feel like the person I was back in 2022 as a presenter to where I am right now is completely different. I've literally like evolved so much and I'm so proud of myself. I'm not saying that I'm the perfect radio presenter, but I the, like literally I had no idea what I was doing when I first started radio. And to shout out to Shani, who is on BBC Asia Network now as a producer, she mentored me and trained me up and like literally like listening to my radio my radio demos right now like i am proud of how far i've come however i feel like right now i don't know maybe it's time to move on and move to another radio station um in perhaps in london because i feel like london is the land of opportunities if you know me if you guys have watched my instagram stories um, if you guys watched my TikTok, my steps, you guys know I'm always in London when it comes to networking events. I recently went to um, Georgina Bob TV presenter masterclass, which was from like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It was it 
like it was worth it i'm always outside okay i'm always on the go i'm always on my feet and i'm always in london and i feel like you know even though i decided after i finished uni i decided to stay in birmingham and you know figure life out and just like i don't know i just i knew deep inside that i had something in me i knew i wanted to do something creative i started youtube but i realized a few years down the line this ain't gonna work which is why i decided to branch out and become a presenter um which has picked up a lot um and i feel like right now that i have um developed a lot of skills a lot of knowledge on being the radio at the radio station that i that i am in it's time to move on to another station and i feel like right now i need to move to another station in london which uh, that's what i'm working on um and see how it goes the goal is to be on national radio um because that's what i want like 100 percent capital extra kiss fresh those are my top two um bbc one extra we have one in birmingham that's another option um but the goal is to be an international presenter that's my main goal like if you guys know me i've always said mtv channel 4 itv i want to be worldwide baby like i want to be worldwide if you know my interviews you guys know i've interviewed all over like not just uk reality tv shows even south africa um america like do you know what i mean i've done it all and i feel like i just that my goal is still to be an international presenter i want to be an international presenter i am an international presenter um that's the goal but i also want my family i want i want i want a husband <laughs> i want my person however i don't want to put too much pressure on it i want it to just come to me you know do you know what i mean i don't want to be out here looking like i just want it to come to me you know i want him to come to me okay um uh, but also have to put that intention that you know i'm ready you know start of this year i'm not gonna lie i wasn't sure how it was gonna be like i'm always a positive person but the beginning of this year was very shaky for me like it was very shaky like i quit my job <laughs> i left my permanent job i was working at a nursery three days a week literally like in my area um and i had to make the decision to leave because there was just a lot going on and it was affecting my mental health change of management all of that bs and i was like you know what i like i said i have zero patience zero tolerance for bs and i was at that job for like a year and four months and i said you know what it's time for me to move on you guys know like m like m presenting is what i want to do this is this is what i love to do so having that three days a week job to sustain me was really good it was working really well for me the first six months and then i had you know friday saturday sunday monday to work on my goals and dreams and my evenings but a lot of things started changing because like ugh, i can't even go deep into it but it was affecting my mental health and i was like enough is enough i was taking up so much annual leave i was barely going into work and i was like yeah it's time for me to move on and i left i was supposed to leave in march i left in february i was like i haven't got time for this um and then um for me i feel like when you're a freelancer and you're creative you need something like flexible something that you're not you're not tied down to the company so that's what i'm currently on i currently have I'm actually in a position now where I have something that's very flexible. I choose my hours. I choose the days that I want to work, the days that I'm available, and it's never an issue. Like, you know, next week is Eid. Literally, I don't have to book annual leave. I'm like, I'm not available to work. Um, I'm not working. They're like, okay, cool. Like, and I like that because there's not too much pressure i don't have to i don't have to like mingle with other toxic co-workers like, i don't have to deal with that no more and it's been so freeing so yeah and then things started looking up in may like i started doing my interviews again on my channel did some hosting events hosted an event in london and then did my presenter masterclass. I, I had some international interviews from Tanzania. Yeah, there's been some good moments so far this year. 
and i feel like out of all the months this year so far may has to have been the best month for me i mean obviously we've had cute highlights for march time um and april but may had to have been a very positive month for me like really and then june we here baby listen from now up until from now things are yeah it's about to be a good summer it's about to be the summer of enjoyment and i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you know me you guys know i've been working I, that's all i've done is work 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 like you know what i mean like except for the six months that I had off from lockdown back in 2022 but i've just been hustling for the past nine eight years you know being a content creator creative a presenter i've been doing it all and as much as i love it your girl needs a break my body is tired okay i just want to relax and don't get me wrong i've had i've had i've gone on holidays here and there i went to a solo holiday in portugal cyprus last year i went on a solo holiday to cyprus i went to a lanzo um a girl's trip to lanzo with my cousin and don't get me wrong it's been amazing but i just need like a month off like i don't think i'll be able to do that because i just love what i do but i'm going away for a bit i'm going i'm going to the motherland for a bit it's been like four years and i just i just want to relax and just sleep and just like be in a different environment you know navigating this thing called life is not easy life be life and sometimes you're trying to juggle everything you know you're trying to maintain your the the relationships that you have the friendships that you have on top of that like i said life be life in but then again i have to remind myself that there are people out there that are going through so much worse people out here fighting for their life people out here around the world literally like fighting for their life and the fact that i even have a roof over my head and i have access to food and clean water is a huge blessing especially right now i'm telling you this time next year or the year after yeah i'm telling you i feel like once i hit 30 things are gonna blossom don't get me wrong things have blossomed but i feel like a lot of doors and opportunities will open up for me i definitely see myself on the big screens on the mainstream tv on the grammy red carpets bt awards spotify um like i said mtv netflix everything you'll be seeing me on the big screens on the billboard i'm telling you it's gonna happen anyways yeah that was me right there um this is just a bit of an update don't know if you guys care like that but for those that watch me that are loyal subscribers i'm sure you guys wanted to know and yeah if you haven't make sure you guys follow me on my like tiktok um and all my other social media platforms i'll put everything on my bio um and yeah just watch out for more interviews more commentaries on my channel um and have a blessed summer enjoy life to the fullest because life is for the living um and don't be af don't don't be afraid to dream big don't be afraid to dream big and like i said have fun you know have fun <laughs> but anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like share and subscribe and i shall see you guys on my next video. Bye.